Welcome, Welcome to, to Barely, Barely Filtered, Filtered, hosted, hosted by, by us. us. I'm Aurora Culpo, star of the HBO Max show, The Culpo Sisters. Don't tell my sisters I said so. I'm a recently divorced mom of two living in Los Angeles with my ex-husband. I'm part granola mom, part glamorous jet setter. I'm Kristen Gaffney, also a mom, a startup nerd who modeled for Sports Illustrated Swimsuit and the founder and CEO of Super True. I always like to microdose my coffee before I hit up carpool. Welcome to Barely Filtered, our safe space. <laughs> Here, we discuss health and wellness, becoming a grown-ass woman, and what's going on in this crazy world. And while we don't agree on everything, we do agree on this. We, we want, want you, you to live, live your best in life. Hi. I need to take this watch off. Why? Because it's hideous? It's disgusting. But I, you've seen worse. Mm. Do you like an Apple Watch better? Mm. Yeah. Because I'm a follower. They're so clunky. I like to go with like the masses. Not me. <laughs> um, so I got an IUD two weeks ago. Okay. First one? Yeah. <laughs> have so, you ever had one? No. But sometimes like people like. I th- Get I it know, and then. I know people who have like had it before kids and then had kids. And then oh, had really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of people go in and out with it. And I'm like, huh. Eh. Well, how long can you keep it in? Eight years. Whoa. For You're real? Right. Yeah. Are they still copper? You can get copper. Copper's the one with no hormones. But then, but then there's my other... old nanny freaked me out about that because she kept what? every morning. She'd be like, "I think I have copper poisoning. I think I have copper." So poisoning. what is it now? What is it made of? Metal. And so did it hurt? Not at all. Okay, tell me more. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. Um, and I've heard horror stories about that mm. of people being like, "It's incredibly painful." The install, the install can be painful. I've yeah. heard. No. Wow. Not at all. Nothing. Are like, you still going to the same group? Yeah. Okay. Um, but here's the catch. For the last, I got it two weeks ago. For the last week, I've noticed like my heart rate has been much higher than normal. And I think it's the hormones. Oh, because it does. How would it? I don't understand. It releases. I don't understand I don't how know. it could release hormones for eight years. For eight years, right? No. That can't be. It's hormones, yeah. Well, I bet you'll uh, level out. Yeah, you think? Yeah, because you were on birth control before that, right? Yeah, but when? I. Th- When's the last time you were on birth control? Like last year. I, mean, I stopped you... in February. So you were off for a few months. Mm-hmm. Did you did you feel a big shift from getting off of it to then like, like so what? It was six, seven. I never months. had. I didn't have panic during that time. Did you before? On and off, yeah interesting okay and when i was pregnant remember yeah. how bad my panics would be yeah but i think it's psychosomatic i think you'll definitely like level out and i think when, you'll get used to it when that longevity doctor prescribed me progesterone yeah and i started taking it like week two i had like that massive panic attack where i had burton lee come over but you were also taking the weird pill oh the other oh. one i think it's going to equalize because the hormones that that the iud like lets off or excretes yes emits okay. <laughs> is less than birth control you think yeah i wonder if we could find that out so i was up all night not up all night thinking about it yeah but, oh and i haven't drank in four days wow uh, me either super easy <laughs> me, it's, wait tell me tell me everything uh so i went to st louis last week oh yeah you know how flying gives me panic? I was texting with you, being like, yeah, I'm going to fa- die. You, you Instagram FaceTimed me, and I was like, oh, shit, the plane's going down. <laughs> it's the only way she can reach me. <laughs> I knew. Because who Instagram FaceTimes? I was I was trying to add followers. Um, no, so I was texting Samantha, being like, I have a bad feeling about this. I hate flying. I'm a mess. Yeah, yeah. no one likes and flying. And she was yeah. like, you're fine. You're going to land. And so when I was on the plane, so when I got to St. Louis... I was a mess because I hate flying. And then I showed up and ate like the saltiest meal ever. Okay. And drank like two on the or plane? three vodkas. I think I had a vodka on the plane too. Before the plane? On the plane. On the way there, I had a vodka. I had three vodkas when I got to his house. Oh, this is on the way there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And then I had. Cody like, went to her father in law's house yes. in St. Louis. Yes. Last weekend. And. Okay, so, so you then like when I got all there, I s- up, ready to rock. Yeah, and then okay. I was like, "Fun, let's drink." And I had like three drinks, and then I had like Emo's pizza and just really high sodium. That's yeah. what I was chalking it up to. Yeah, 
And then my heart started racing and I grabbed my brother-in-law's watch, put it on. I was like, ugh, it's at like 122, 130. And I was like, shit, here we go again. I'm going to have that tachycardia attack in St. Louis of all what places. What do you, you think it was from? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Because then I got home and I was like, oh, we put an offer in on the house. I was traveling. It was just anxiety. I got home and I expected everything to just flatline again. And it hasn't. How long have you had it? One week? Two weeks. You got it right before. Oh, no. You got it a week before you went to St. Louis then. Yes. Okay. So just so you can like, you know. What? Tell me. Give me a timeline. No, just so you can like bow down to my uh, doctorate medical yeah. skills. You're always right. Compared to folks using the pills and some other hormonal methods, those using hormonal IUDs have much less hormone in their blood. Really? Yes. It's it's a lesser, it doesn't jack, it doesn't like mess with your hormone levels in the same way. I'm at 76 right now and I'm drinking a Jacques coffee, so. What? Is that That's good? pretty good. I love how you like mention your, like your numbers. I don't even know what you're talking about. Can we see what you are real quick? Sure. Just so I see, like, you know. Sure. What's normal? What do we want to be? Um, how do I tell install me. the watch? <laughs> okay. Okay. It's on. What do I do? All right. Is it tight? All right. Now. All right. Just give it a minute. What's the ring up top say? The red ring up top. 79. That's what yours said. Is that what yours says right now? Well, it did. Is it moving? What do I do to turn oh, it Oh, there on? you go. What's it say now? 63, 61, 60. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what's dead. it say now 60 <gasps> your heart rate's 60 yeah you lucky bitch is that good did you take anything to drop your heart rate today no i have like low i have low like blood pressure too like in a good way when's the last time you had a panic attack um oh my god i feel like not that long ago actually not full they're different than they used to be like i because I, I know right do you know what i mean because yeah. i can like i can wrap my head around different parts like I can I can I can rationalize yeah. because I feel like I can talk myself out of it I can too even if I feel weird like remember last week we felt weird from the cold brew like where it's like I know I feel weird but I'm like I'm not gonna like really because mentally I'm like I feel like I'll always come back from that so I'm like I'm not gonna actually go there because I know I'm not afraid of not coming back. The reason I used to go full panic is because I was I'm, afraid of not coming back. I feel like I'm not coming back. Yeah. I'm like keeping myself alive right now. All right. So I think the IUD is going to be is going to be a good thing for sure. So because I was going to have I was going to go back in this week and be like, take it out. I don't like using any hormones at all, though. Well, no shit. Yeah. But then they tell you that like progesterone, testosterone, testosterone will yeah. give you so much energy. And I'm like, do you feel like you lost weight in like the the months where you weren't on anything but you were Hard doing so many say. other I was, things yeah i was i was actually that's losing. what i like two things i worry about the most like with like the hormones and the birth control is like weight gain and messing with your like with your emotions too much you know yeah it's it's a it's a bitch. Are you looking at my boobs? I was wondering if that was connected to the dress or it's if that a was bra a bra. Because I don't know the the like the the dress is cute, but it didn't make enough room for yeah. the boob. So oh, it looks like it's attached to the dress. I know it's very like Dolce, yeah. right? Just like, um, yeah. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't I'm think I give it a week I or think two. You're fine. Okay, so wait, hold on. You're not. We went. We, we didn't finish the drinking thing. You're not drinking now. So how no. many days has it been? I love touching base on the drinking. Sunday, I had like. A cocktail on the plane in the morning. Okay. But I didn't drink that night. Um, I had a drink Sunday morning. That sounds really bad. Sunday morning. On the plane? Yeah. That's not bad at all. That's normal. Uh, but I haven't had one since. And I don't think I'm going to have one until... I don't know when. Wait, you're just not drinking? No. I'm not doing anything. I am stone cold sober. Wait, why? Why not? I don't know. You, you're you're so diehard, and I love it in a way. I mean, because I'm just like, if I'm not going to, I don't know. I have moments where I'm like, now would be a good time. And then it passes. But what made you do the first day? You were just like, oh, I just went too hard this weekend? My heart rate. Oh. Yeah. Where I thought, wow, I wonder if I'm like severely dehydrated from drinking Okay, let's circle back really quick what? because this is I want to start having like more information when we're like, like real mm -hmm. facts when you're like questioning something, i.e. your heart rate. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So your resting heart rate is, was what? I can tell you right now. My resting? Yeah. Well, it'll give 79. Me my, it'll give me my average right now. My resting, seven-day average resting. I didn't wear my watch for a day. It was 64, but it's 71 right now. But it was 79 earlier? 79. Right? Okay. So it goes by age based on, like, what the ideal, is, like, beats per minute are. Yeah. So... You are 60. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so between 36 to 45. That's what it should be? No. Age, oh, 36 okay. to 45. Yeah. As a woman, 30, age 36 uh-huh. to 45. Um, average is 74 to 78. Okay. Really? Good is 70 to 73. Great is 65 to 69. Excellent, which was what I was, was 60 to 64 athlete so like i guess the more like active you yeah. are so your resting is lower mm-hmm. athlete 54 to 59 so but average is 74 to 78 what are you right now 70 74 yeah but you're right you're p- basically good the numbers look similar like whether you're 18 or 65 but yeah so i don't know why you're afraid why are you always checking that and you don't even have the real like info behind it you're like i'm scared and i'm like why you're like i don't know <laughs> yeah i don't know yeah. You know why? Because I can feel it pumping and I go, oh, God, what's happening? And then I look down. And I'm like, that's happening. I knew it. I predicted it. It's funny that you would would first not drink alcohol before not drinking coffee. Isn't that interesting? Cause- or that I was like on FenFen for a year and like I was trying to trigger a heart rate and like that didn't scare me. But when it's happening naturally through a hormone in my body, yeah. I'm like, ah, call the police. Did they say anything from that you would be experiencing anything with hormonally or no? No, but I also never brought that up with the OB or the it, OBGYN. But I think it's it's fine. I literally think you have no you issue. You really do? I think you're like the picture of health. Really? Yeah. God, I love talking to you some days. Some every days you're day, kind of every mean. day. Wait, why am I mean? I don't know. I just, you don't coddle me like I want to be coddled sometimes, but I think that's what makes us funny. I always coddle you when you need coddling. I know. Only when I need it. And then you got offended because I was like, can I see the dress? And you were like. Which dress? <laughs> Watch. I'll be like, this VMA look is good. What do you mean? Watch. Ask for my phone. Remember? You're like, you're so mean. I was like, can I see? You're like, sure. <laughs> and I was like, don't move. You're like, ugh, you're such a bully. <laughs> you're like, I'm sure, very look sensitive. at it. I'm very sensitive. Um. Okay, I feel better already. I bet it dropped. Nope, it went up. I think I need to stop wearing the watch for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Same. Do, 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 do. So I have a question. I'm wondering what your take is on expiration dates on food. Like, do because do you, like, abide by, like... It's different for, like, meats? Y- well, meats always say y- sell-by. There's a sell-by date on meats. And you have seven Meats? days after the I think sell-by. You, you have to abide, right? You do, but it's seven days after sell-by. That's when you need to eat it. And then I do the smell no. method. I'm talking like ex- expiration date, like where it's like, you know, whether it's canned, packaged, like yes. whatever, anything. Like, do you like immediately go like the minute it expires yes. or like it's even a week trash. before? It is? Milk, if it's a week before it expires, it's in the trash. See, I certain milk, like Whole Foods milk, goes bad like so fast. Yeah. But then like Horizon or like those that are more like homogenized, I feel like stay good for like weeks after they say. No, no you know why? Because when I buy it and I go, I always buy it and say it's like August. And I'll be like, ew, this expires like halfway to like Thanksgiving. Yeah, you've got time. So that freaks me out. So if, if it's like a week before expiration with those, I'm like, nope. The shelf life, especially, you know what people don't pay attention to? What? Those nut milks, all those non-dairy milks yeah. where it's like expiration, six months. But then you read the fine print and it's like um, dispose seven days after opening. That's a different thing. That's a different thing. After you open it, certain things do like go bad. But I was reading something that says that a lot of those expiration dates like aren't actually real that it's more of like a like a reference point for grocery stores so they know when to like sort of turn over the the merchandise mm-hmm. and Duran always is like I don't I don't like why are you throwing that away like I like it oh, wasn't yeah. even opened like that, you know that totally tracks Duran would be like it's fine yeah he's like it's fine like what, fine. what are you doing but I mean I guess I'm talking more like canned and like packaged canned? stuff that like bye-bye no, but like canned olives. Goodbye. No. Why? They're like 
perfectly nope. safe. Nope. No? If they were perfectly safe, they wouldn't put an expiration on it. I have to say, I like... Sometimes I like when there's an expiration date because it gives me a reason to, to throw stuff away and clean oh, out yeah. the fridge. Yeah. Like condiments in my fridge are like, they're like overpopulating yeah. everything else. Like there's no food in my fridge sometimes. And a thousand there's like condiments. every shelf is full. Or like uh, every relish made in the world. Relish, where you're like, pickles, mustards. Like, and then you're like, well, I can't throw it away. It's not bad. You know what's even better than that? What? When your fridge dies. Ooh, and then you do a full Mine perch. died like a few weeks ago. And I, was I like, thought mine was dead a few bye. nights ago. The lights went out. Everything died. I woke up and it was warm and I was like, get the trash can. I cleared See, out doesn't the it feel good? Thing. It's it feels so good. good. Yeah, but then you're just going to repopulate. I know. It already looks like shit. Yeah. I have a friend whose fridge is like just. Who? My friend Aubrey. Oh. And I've told her that. And she is just like, it's just like a need to know basis How, in the fridge. I don't know. And she has two kids. Does she have a condiment fridge? Greg and I always no. talk about having a fridge just for condiments. I do. You do? Well, I mean, I use the outside fridge. Oh. I put all of our, con- I keep the day to days in there. Yeah. But like yeah. all the olives. The pickles the and olives really pickles, take up a olives, lot of real estate. All that bullshit. They really that get you. all goes outside. Even like the minced garlic. Because I know where it is if I need it. Uh-huh. And I don't need those little hockey pucks bouncing around. I know. You know, they're so it's annoying. Frustrating. All right. So uh, you you abide by the expiration date in general. You're a believer. 100%. Yes. Absolutely. Would you eat something if you were starving and like on a deserted island? And it was perfectly fine, but it was like a year expired. No. You would starve? Yeah. You would sooner starve? Yeah. Okay. Sooner start. I'm not going to share my expired food with you when we're stranded on an island. What What is Duran eaten that's expired? I don't know, but oftentimes when I'm trying to clean out the fridge, he'll be like, like, what are you doing? Oh, he could never live with Mike. He could never. Mike will be like, it just looks bad. He doesn't even look. He's like, it looks gross. Like, you haven't touched that in a year. It's been sitting in there. Yeah, it's gross. My nanny, Gabby, though, will throw away everything, even if it's, like, weeks or months out. She'll be like, this looks like it should go. And I'm like, calm down. Slow your roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I throw out everything, though. When in doubt, throw it out. All right. Bye. Fine. How's your coffee from Jacques? Listen to my suction cups. It's great, actually. I run into, like, three people with the same thing. And I dropped my phone today. Cracked the whole damn thing. No way. This day. Mercury better be wrapping shit up. Was it before or after they denied you access to get on? Before it kicked off my day this Mm. morning. Nice. Um, Oh, so you know what? Cotty and I have been trying to nail down these 12-foot skeletons (gasps) without paying over market price, without paying a thousand a, a pop for three years. Okay. Has it been three years? Three years. Three years, year after year. Last year, they sold out in July. So I thought we were like total goners. Can you believe that I... So last, yesterday morning, Cotty sends me a, like an SOS, like DM, like like message, like the skeletons are live, order one. You can only get one. And so there were three in LA. I got the alert, three in Los Angeles. Oh, at seven oh six. I texted you at like seven ten. I was oh, like, they were gone in like seconds. So seconds. I got on, started to check out, did put in the credit card, everything, and it was like, oh, actually, we we don't have any more in stock now. We can't deliver to your address. So then I put in Duran's factory address, and I was like, and it, it, it let me. It was like, oh, we have some in, I don't even know, like Vernon or something. Yeah. They had one, and so I they delivered it today. I said, Duran, there's a twelve foot skeleton coming to the factory. Today. Cannot wait. I cannot wait to set that up. So the we witch, finally got them. But you know what? For a second, I was like, do we even want them anymore? Did you have that feeling? Where nope. I was like, do we even want them I, anymore? Yeah, I we did. Have been, I did. Like, I, I wanted this thing so bad for so long. And now I'm just like, I want to be like, fuck off. Like, I don't want to spend. Because it ended up. It with, blinks. Well, with the, did you have to pay for sh- for shipping twice? Do you know how embarrassing it was this morning? Do you have to pay for shipping twice or yeah. just once? You had to pay the 79 twice? I no. I hope Mike doesn't listen to this. It was like a full-blown moving truck that yeah. showed up yeah did they call wait you? till you see the box it's a 90 ta- 90 pound box two men carried it off of a truck and mike's like what is happening so how why is it so much bigger than the 12 foot witch i think because of the 
the femurs? The <laughs> the the uh the, the the hip bones? No, the the torso. Yeah. Oh, the rib it cage. It blinks. I know. It blinks. Have you but, never been in person with one? No. My friend had one the first year. She got it on eBay. I think she paid like four times the price for it. Stupid. No, the eyes are but, like digital and it's like oh, Okay, oh. it's but, and it's like it's like meaty. Okay, here's my problem. So Mike goes out of town. He's about to fly right now. Where's he going? Seattle. Um, Bye. <laughs> Bye. And in my head, I'm like, okay, so I need to, because whenever I order two of something, I get like buffet anxiety and I just order, like, I just want to buy it out so I have options. One for me, one for you. Yeah. Two. And yeah. so he's like, well, how many boxes? What are these? And I was like, <laughs> they're Samantha's. I always say that. <laughs> the witches. And um, so my fear is this. What if the fucker falls? No, he has. You don't understand. I've seen this okay, in person. What happens? It, there's like there's like tethers, like stakes that go into the ground, okay. like around each foot. Okay. And you like plant. I think it's on a metal base. But there's so got to be a way you... to do it if, if you're not on dirt. But I I saw it like in a front yard, like and they were the stakes were like in the dirt. There it wouldn't fall. You could like hug it. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm scared of. I'm yeah. gonna put it. So you know how my the house like this? Well, most houses are like this. Yeah. I'm going to put it right in the corner. It's epic. But now I'm like, is it played? Are we losers no. that we still want I've it? never seen one in my neighborhood. This is going to be a showstopper. So now we're returning the 12-foot witch? Yeah, the witch is done. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't open mine. You're so lucky. I opened mine. So Cotty's fear was that she was going to have too many figurines in her yard. <laughs> too many too many 12-foot figurines, and she was going to look like a, like a freaky cat lady or something. Yeah. Like I hoard baby dolls. It would look weird. It like look you have weird. to have one centerpiece. No. The, oh, where is Soul Sucker going to go though? I th- Backyard? I'm thinking that. Yeah, he can't compete. No. He cannot compete with and the Soul Sucker skeleton. is like the kids love playing with it and there's like Ted older likes people that live. The dying little girl. Uh, <laughs> there's older people that live next door. Yeah. And it's like, your soul will be mine forever. And the only times they play it are before school and after school. It's just some awful timing to have Soul Sucker going off at like 7 a.m. Where I'm like, go off as much as you want. Put it in the backyard. Yeah. But see, that's why I'm going to do the sneaky maneuver while Mike's yeah. out of town. Yeah. Where I'm going to place the skeleton, maybe put pumpkins around him. Yeah. The base. Yeah. And then move. A chic display. A chic display out front. That's a real like. We've got a lot of foot traffic in front I of our I still house. feel a tad douchey, though. I'm like, no, like now I'm on never. this train. I've been trying to get no. on this train for so long. Now, no. I, you know, it's like I got rejected so many times that I just want to reject no. the skeleton. Have you seen one in your neighborhood? Well, Seriously. no one trick-or-treats in my neighborhood. Exactly. It's going to be a showstopper right in front of your house. Where should I do it? Like, cl- I should do it climbing up the garage. Have you seen it? people put it on buildings before? No. Oh my god, it's amazing. Wait, there was what? one there was a building downtown LA that had like 10 of them, which by the way, I was annoyed that they had procured that many for themselves. Like climbing up onto the side of the building and then on the roof of this building. Like it was like a commercial building in LA. Are you looking it up? Oh god, all of what? All of the blogs are like, is it coming back? This is epic. You know they're gone. I don't know how the hell you knew that it was live. How did you know? Because I signed up for notifications. Recently? Yeah. Oh, because I did Twice. like two years Twice. ago. Oh. Because I, I wouldn't have known Look, otherwise. It's crazy. They're selling online right now. Six, like 650 So there's no more on Home Depot? Nope. Okay. Um, well, thank you so much for that, for that tip. So wait, were you really buying me the witch like to as a gift or were you just like trying to deter Mike from thinking it was all you? It was a combination of both. Do I what do I do with the other one? Like it was like this. These aren't these aren't them, but it was like this kind of on a commercial like big building downtown LA. So it like scale. That's kind of amazing. Yeah. I don't know. Do you have room in the front of your house next to the gate where you could just put them next to the gate? Or do not enough people see that? No one sees that. Don't worry about me. Or do you put it on the top? Worry about you. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> not even Moira can bring me it down. It really is quite a victory. It's such a victory. And that's a forever, forever staple in our home. So do I get a different birthday present then if that's, I give you the witch's, your, yeah. the witch's tit back? <laughs> but what does this mean? What are you going to do with the other skeleton? Just return it? No. Wait, what do you mean? You're giving me one of yours? I'm not giving two. 
I you t- I was going to cancel my. You told me to to continue. Yeah. So well, here's what. Okay. So this is yeah. what I need to know. I'm returning the witches. Okay. Do I take another skeleton, like your skeleton, back and return it for you? Oh, interesting. Maybe. Let's discuss later. Okay. If no one else really wants it, we could sell it. Or do it. you want two? I don't have room for two. Okay. At the new house, I do. It would yeah. be epic. Yeah. Maybe you. I don't know. Hmm. We'll we'll figure it out. Leanne is a real big. Have Halloween you offered junkie. it to her? Yeah, and her dad comes in town this week, and I'm like, if you want to buy it, yeah. What'd she say? Oh, I, I haven't talked to her again. I was like, I don't know. Oh, I think Leanne cancel. is going to come on the podcast, I think, next week or the week after. Cotty's sister-in-law, Leanne, whose podcast we went on recently, who's really funny. She's fun. She's so funny. And you know what I've been doing? What? I've been styling her lately. Yeah. You told me this. Crushing it. All right. Show me the looks. I'll be the judge if you're crushing it or not. Well, her look in um, Just for Laughs was really good. I saw that one. She got a lot of compliments. Was that the leather jacket one? No. No. <laughs> Was that the just for Assless less? chaps one? No, she looked really pretty. Um, so, I'm so right. excited. When are All we right. going to Target? We've got a, uh, I, yes, we need to go to Target. Tomorrow. No. Why? I don't know. We'll, dis- we'll debate this. Tomorrow was our original plan. You want to change it? What time? I can't go midday. If you really want to, I can go in the morning. If you really want to get in on like the goods there, now's the time before the Halloween. Yeah, before the Halloween crowd comes for it. <sighs> Exhausting. All right, let me know. Okay, well, I'm going to show you this picture before we go. Um, do you know that I was like heard that BMW was charging people like a, an, a monthly fee to use the heated seats in their own car? <laughs> Swear. Have you heard this? No, that's fucked up. Yeah, BMW, like, so you buy you buy or lease a car that has heated seats, right? Yeah. Are you, are you okay? <laughs> and <laughs> the they, so they wasn't, like, it, it wasn't activated until you paid this, to like, 19, 18 a month to use your heated seats. No, thank you. So I think they're doing away with it because everyone's complaining. They're like, I, I have the function in my car. Like, why am I paying for it? But it's the same thing. It's, where, like, serious. Serious is a little different because it's a third it's a party. subscription, but, But, yeah. like, for instance, like, both of my cars have um, location, like um, devices on them, like that. So you can uh, you can have it. You have an app, and it shows you where the car is. You can unlock it. You can lock it. Yeah. You can turn the air on. Whatever. Nothing crazy. I have that too, but I never set it up. So they like give it to you free for the first year, and then after that, they're like, pay for it. But I'm like, why should I pay for it? My car's equipped with this function. You know what yeah, I mean? It's like the but yeah. you pay for it. That that seems a little That's more justifiable little than the heated up. seats. The heated seats, they're like, yeah, you have heated seats, but you, they won't turn on unless you pay us. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. How'd you find this out? I I read it. Like it was on the news. It's weird. Yeah, I know. It's weird. Do you know what? I Well, mean? it's not going over well with the um, with the uh, ironically the my consumer. dad. My dad's always driven mercedes like that's his car he loves it and one year he decided to switch over to bmw yeah i think he did and the seat heater lit on fire (laughs) and he got rid of the car whoa it burned a hole through and he was like done i haven't had a bmw in a long time i love bmw deron had a lemon remember that like x6 it was a lemon we like they like fully like refunded him (sighs) what a blessing so I told you there was like a power surge in March at my house and like it blew out a bunch of my appliances yeah. and like outlets and things. I actually never really knew what a power surge was really because I'd never encountered. It's a power surge. Yeah, but like not like to the point where everything's in jeopardy. Like everything plugged in is basically in jeopardy. Like my Nespresso machine was fried. I mean, stupid things, but like big things too, like my oven, outlets, yeah. light switches. Like it was. That's weird. A large array of things that were like broke like not just like let's call someone to fix it they were just like it was like fried done okay and it was because something fell on a power line and so it was like me it was the the neighborhood i don't know how many blocks like surged all the power so and you did that this was in march no i know but your house did that my house did it but also like my neighbors i wasn't like an isolated it was definitely like a few blocks oh it's not like you caused it 
No, no. It was like oh. a storm and like a tree okay, hit the thing, it. but then the tr- transformer d- exploded. Up yes. The, that's like, you know, on the line. And so then I called them and I was like, what will you guys do? What will DWP do for me? Like this was cr- this was like a crazy expense and also like time and like trying to fix all these things. And I'm thinking they would like do something, no. you know. I didn't think they'd cover everything like to the dollar, but I was like, they'll do something. I mean, I'm paying them, you know, there's like, that's like one of the biggest bills that you pay, like in a house. Like, even if they just comped my bill for like a month or two, I'd be happy. Stream on. Yeah. So I submit this claim in March or maybe April, like a few weeks after it happened. And they email me back being like, your claim's been submitted. And I kept being like, well, what's the time frame? They're like, we don't have a time frame, but we, we got it, whatever. Right. So cut to yesterday, September. And so six months later, they're like, kidding? we've received your claim. They're like, we'd like to inform you that it's been rejected. <laughs> that was literally, literally, that was it. Like, there wasn't like, there was and it was like, if you would like to, to hire an attorney or something, um, then you need to do so now. Like, there wasn't like, it's rejected because of this, or it's, we can't cover that, or blah, blah, blah. Like, there was no explanation. So now I, I like, you know, it's brilliant. Raged. They wait long enough where and you're like, you just surrender. Like already if they abs- had sent that. You've like, already absorbed it. Yeah. If you had sent that, if they had sent you the rejection like four weeks after, you would have still been like, fight the good fight. So you've already absorbed it, right? Yeah. You're just like, so Meh. I, we, I called a lawyer. Uh, oh my lord! I called a lawyer that we work of with for other did. things, and I was like, "What can we do?" Because DWP, I think, is like they're like going to kill me in my sleep. They're, I just think they're like above the law. Like they like do whatever they want. I mean, really, like who's going to fight them, right? Samantha Silverman. Well. So the lawyer was like, "Listen, he's like, if it's under ten grand, which like it's about that, it's like probably like even if I got five or two, I it, it, they said here's five hundred bucks, I would have been like it was a win, you know, like yeah. I would have been fine. They're they're just like rejected, no no explanation. So he was like, look, this I don't have time to like deal with this, and like it's not really worth you getting no. you know legally involved in this. Just take them to small claims court. I was like, can you? He's like, yeah. Oh. So you know I took my landlords I when I was renting to small claims court and what? Because yeah. small claims court is always in favor of like the little guy. Yeah. So don't put it past me. I think I'm taking DWP to small claims court. Oh my lord. <laughs> How I It's principle. It's principle. You think they're gonna no. what you know what's gonna happen? What? They're not going to want to deal with it. And they're just going to go, here's 500 bucks. And you'll go, Wah. Not 500. At that point, no. I'm Mama wants more than that. Do you know? Watch. What, you think gonna, I'll, do you think gonna, I'll win? Do you think I'll win? I don't. Okay. I think they're going to dick you around. Okay. Watch it. Watch me. Watch me win. This ha- Ugh. I don't know. That's <laughs> exhausting. <laughs> and here I am returning witches to Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> Which, at least that box isn't as massive. You have no idea what to expect with the skeleton box. I've seen it. The box? Yeah. Oh, he brought it home already? I'm not a newbie to this game. You've seen the box? Yeah. Oh, uh-huh. okay. That's the reason why people who try to buy them and, like, sell them for so much money online. Don't even take them out of the box? No. Don't. It's not even worth it because then they're going to be like, well, you know, you're buying it. They're making a few hundred bucks. But then, like, shipping's, like, three or four hundred. I mean, four hundred bucks. Something crazy. If yeah. that's why Home Depot doesn't even want to deliver it to you if you're not within a certain range because it's such a big thing. Yeah, the shipping. I love how I ordered it yesterday and they were like, "It's here today. You're welcome. You Goodbye." That? <laughs> I can't wait. They don't to want put it in up. their warehouse. It takes up too much like room. Oh. Wait. So Mike's out of town all weekend. No, he comes back tomorrow because Lola's birthday's on Saturday. Oh yeah, I'm not coming. Right. Okay. Wait. What? You told me not to come. Well, no, you don't have to. There's nothing for to do there. I'm coming to Teddy's, but that's not till October, okay. right? Did you yeah. know it's Lisa's twin's birthday today? Oh, no way. Yeah. Um, I'm going to that party on Saturday. Now we know who your true friends are. No, but like, I don't know. Do you think Dom will have fun at the thing if I bring him? No. At Lola's? No. Yeah. Um, Dom asked me if I knew how old Cousin It was supposed to be. Like, how old is Does he, he still want to be that for Halloween? That or like... Steve from Minecraft. But I was like, that's such an interesting question. Like, Cousin It is like, he's like, he's not like a kid. Like, he lives on his own or whatever. But like, how old is he supposed to be? No one would know. I got struck by Jacques' caffeine again. Oh, come on. Never again. What do you mean? It's caffeinated. I think it's because I started drinking this right after. So I kind of want to like shave your face. (laughs) Was I telling you this? Do you ever do the shaving on your face? No. Why? Why have you done it? Yeah. 
And now I like can't imagine not doing it. Wait, what do you mean? Can I do it to you? Yeah. Next time? Sure. It's called dermaplaning. Oh, yeah. I No. No, I did this when we were at Paradigm. No, yes, not I like did. this. What did you use? It was a, a doctor did it. No. With, this is the type with of cold thing. ice or with hot ice. And a razor, yeah. That's weird. Okay, so my facialist will do it like whenever I get a facial, which is, is random. Like yeah. I don't always I'm not always getting them, but so I I got I tried a few different ones. I found one that I really like. And it literally just like shaves the peach fuzz off of your face, like the white. Do you break out? No, but it makes like makeup application and product like s- absorb so much more and your skin is so soft because it's really like exfoliating like that I'm scared. dead layer of skin. Okay. But when I was talking to you the other day when we were leaving here, I was noticing all the peach fuzz on your face and I wanted I to shave it off. Wait, you know what's Can so I funny? do it? Yeah, Can when? I do like one cheek and you'll be like, no, oh. no, we're either doing. No, no. All my face. First, we're going to do <laughs> no. one cheek and you're going to be like, oh my God. Oh my God. Really? Yes. I think real friends okay. tell their other real friends. Okay. When so they what's need to so funny face. is I took and a I picture of my eye the other day in the car because I just have beautiful colored eyes. And I was like, oh <laughs> my God. I was like, God, my eyes are so pretty. Yeah. And I took a picture. Yeah. And my face. Look. What's so funny. No. Just grab my face. <gasps> I see. Say uh, you're not offended, right? No, because when you were in the light, I was like, I need to shave that old lady face. <laughs> when are we doing it, though? I mean, I'll do it to you tomorrow if you want. Sure, we could just video it. Okay, it's so rewarding. But now I'm gonna I be like so pissed off if I have a beard. What do you mean? After? Yeah, you won't. But it- Google it, by the way. I've, I mean, I already have the information, but if you are in doubt, it doesn't. Like shaving your arm, shaving anything, it doesn't bring, like, I think that's like kind uh, of a, a... No, uh, I don't think it's a myth. Maybe on your legs, but not on your face. I'm doing it. You're going to be, like, life changed. You're going to be, thank, thank me. I'm going to be so on, upset if I grow a beard. You are not going to grow a beard. And I'm, you're going to get one of these things, so you, you just, like, do it whenever you see anything. Really, the main areas are, like, here, and, like, mm-hmm. you'd be, you'll be surprised how much I get off. I'm going to show it to you. Are you going to bring it to my house tomorrow? Sure. Are, are we going to Target? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We got to get the goods, bitch. Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll bring you a fresh razor, too. How about that? Ew, you just use, like, a razor? No, it's like a blade. And yeah. it's like, it says Oh, it's a like ch- a pink blade that you go, ping. No, I'll show you. But it, it says, like, use a new one every time. But I think if you're, like, if you're just doing a little spot, then you don't need to use a new one every time. For me. But for you, I'll use a fresh okay, one on good. you. Um, Again, we have this on tape. I'm going to be really, really upset. What? If I have like a five o'clock shadow. You're not. I'm, Gaston, like, I'm, I'm really going to be upset. <laughs> like, honestly, if that happens. It hasn't for, happened. You're, you're paying for my laser. Fine. Really? Eight rounds of laser therapy on my face if I have a beard. Fine. You won't. I'm just envisioning myself like a, a character on American Horror Story. You're going to be like amazed by what this does for you. Okay. Life changing. What are you going to do for me in return? Bitch, I got you a skeleton. <laughs> it's okay. I'll buy it's my okay. Own. I'll buy my own. And you know what? The doctor's like telling me where to apply. I'm all over the place. Telling me where to apply testosterone. And he's like, it needs to be in a place without hair. And I was like. Are you still doing that? No. That, but that's when he told me like months ago. And I was like, why? For absorption? Because it binds to hair and then it'll make hair grow like a maniac. And in my head, I'm like, should I put it on my eyebrows? You want more brow? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. See? This is what I was saying. I always wanted, like, more brow. Yeah. You have good brows, though. Really? Yeah. Thank you for that. I I think I crushed last week's uh, tutorial. Did you see my right eyebrow in the videos? It looked good. And then you took it off. I wish Mabel was more invested in us. She is. She's She's got got a lot on her plate. She has a lot going on. Jacques She's very would be invested. like really Jacques, invested. Jacques is needs to come on. Yeah, where is Jacques? Should Ugh. we bring Jacques on? Oh, at Target tomorrow, let's buy walkie talkies for Jacques. Yes, right. I want to bring Jacques on. If Leanne's not coming on next week, can Jacques come on for like a second? Can we make him sit on the ground right between us <laughs> and give him a little portable mic, a handheld, a lav? <laughs> Jacques would probably sit and be the same height as us. Jacques is tall. I wonder if Jacques listens. He does. He loves it. I hope so. He really does. Um, so what other burning topics do you have for me? 
I don't know. I'm really intrigued by sh- my face. Oh, my God. Wait. This was the other thing I wanted to talk to you about. What? Have you seen what's happening to Crocs in the escalators? Oh, escalators, right? How terrifying. Even more of a reason not to buy those nasty little things. So they're telling p- people not to wear Crocs, like, in any public, like, no. spaces, right? How is it eating? That was cr- Do you see the picture? Yeah. And it was, like, yeah. it was like grinded it. I don't believe it. No, but, like... Aside from being hideous, I, they're not that functional. Like, Luca will wear them, and, and I'm like, don't you have PE today? He's like, yeah, it's fine. I can run in them. I'm like, no. 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 I never. They're, like, made of I would never let Ted wear Crocs to school. And other parents would. And I'd be like, that's a really dumb move. And they're like, why? I was like, my niece broke her upper jaw from tripping in Crocs. Really? How old was she? Like, three? Two or three? Yeah, I feel like they're very it's clunky. stupid. They're yeah. so clunky. Yeah. Did you ever wear them? Crocs? <laughs> <laughs> no. Whatever. You wear weird uh, other hookah, hookah shoes that look hideous. Crocs? You're asking me if I've ever... Have, yeah. I, have you ever owned Crocs? No. Yeah. Like, I'm not an OB. Why would I wear Crocs? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, though? I feel like Yeezy was... Like, be, because of, like, the fo- they made so many, like, different foam shoes, and these kids were wearing, like, the slides and, like, you know, the slip-ons, and... I feel like that became really popular with kids, the Yeezy ones. And yeah. then when everyone stopped buying Yeezy and they kind of, I think they're, st- they, I think they've stopped making them. Um, then I think the Crocs had like this crazy resurgence. They're like psyched, by the way. And when kids wear Crocs, I'm like, ugh. They're like just, little swamp feet. I'm, it's just so gross. Though. Sweaty and. But you know what's so funny? In my head, I'm like, I'd buy them a pair of Crocs. They're so practical. I just bought platform Uggs and I'm on the fence if I should keep them. Oh, those are probably cute. They are. Like Dr. Scholl's? Like wood? No. I'm sorry. Uggs. No, I know. Do they have a wood platform? No. It's the foam, just like thicker foam. Ew. So you're getting like a lift, but they're the mini, like mini low, low. All right. Uh, Target. Face shaving. Tomorrow. Important topics that will be addressed. I'm gonna, I, You have it. You have it here that if this backfires, sev with Sam. That's our next You segment. might want to come just to my house right now and let me do it. No. No, I have makeup on. So? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> I'm going to wash it, moisturize. I'm going to break out. I know I will. I'm going to break out. No, you're not. Why would you break out? I don't know. Oil ducks? Your logic. What are we buying at Target tomorrow? Halloween goods. No, Avi. Whatever else comes across our path. Let's go to the North Hollywood one. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. Which one should we go to? Uh, It's it's the biggest. Is that the one on Victory? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. It's kind of sketch, but I'll do it. Yeah. It's right by your new house. Or Sherman Oaks. The Sherman (laughs) Oaks one's pretty big, too. It's two stories. I haven't been. Sherman Oaks is bomb. Take me where you will. God, I wish we had, like, a consultant on this show to tell us the best location. I guess I'm the closest thing. West Hollywood is the one I've always gone to. and they, Oh, no. Okay. And they always have That's, a good selection. They so do, but it's any bigger than that, huh? Sherman Oaks is two stories. Okay. North Hollywood is rather large, but a bit sketch. Okay. You're definitely filling out like a clipboard application on your way in. You yeah. know. But I think Sherman Oaks. Let's okay. do Sherman Oaks. Fine. Done. Yeah. Great. No one goes there. It's right around the corner from my new house. Um, all right. It's been fun. We're not done. You're riveting. <laughs> <laughs> how long Signing you, off how with long? 70, 74 heart rate. I think we're good. 